What's going on guys? Nuketown 24-7 demolition on the map. Well, Nuketown, a little repetitive. But yeah, uh, I'm using the AUG at the beginning, but I switched to the M60 in the second round, and this is a rape-tastic game. It's recorded in theater, so sadly I cannot go above 299 kills. I was not recording, you know, at the time because, you know, I'm stupid. I don't know why I was I wasn't recording. So when I got to the 299 kill mark, I had to stop or else this wouldn't have saved properly in the uh, theater thing and it wouldn't have saved to my stats, I heard. That's what people told me in my last video because I was kind of confused when my score went above uh, 299 on my firing range game. But uh, thanks for clearing that up. Now I know, even though Modern for 3 is coming out in a week. Uh, speaking of Modern for 3 coming out in a week, nice napalm, by the way. This is my last last Black Ops commentary, and Black Ops was a great game. You know, Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty to date. Hopefully, Modern for Three can you know, you know, make it so Modern for Three is not my favorite Call of Duty to date. But you never know. It's Infinity Ward, and whatever Infinity Ward does needs to be questioned. Jeez, I mean, <laughs> you know, COD Four happened, and COD Four was you know it was pretty good. I mean. You know, compared to, you know, the more recent Call of Duty games, I'd say COD 4 isn't that great, but people still enjoy it. I, you know, I'm not hating on it, but I, I would just prefer to play Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. And I've actually never played World at War, so I don't know what to say about that game. I heard it's not even that great, so... But, uh, yeah, Black Ops is definitely my favorite Call of Duty to date. It was an awesome game. It was an awesome time. And me and hella people, you know, spawn trapping... Hello. I mean, you know, Modern Warfare 2 spawn trapping was great, but, you know, there was just, there's only like two maps on Modern Warfare 2 that you could really spawn trap in really well, and that was Favela, Favela and Rundown. You know, this game had, I mean, I mean, originally it had Havana, it had Radiation, it had Summit, it had Firing Range, I'm probably going to miss some, it had Nuketown, uh, Jungle. Uh, I, know, I know I'm missing one. I, I know it. But yeah, it had so many maps that were so good for spawn killing. And yeah, it was overall just a great game. I mean, obviously with every game, there's going to be bad things about it. And, you know, everyone likes to complain about ghosts. But yeah, ghosts is annoying. And I definitely rage about it. But, you know, you know, one thing that happens in this game, literally every life you go in in Black Ops. I don't know if it's just me. But every life I have in Black Ops, I see this problem, and it's the hit detection. The hit detection is absolutely horrible in this game. And if the hit detection was like Modern Warfare 2 hit detection, oh my god, this would be the god of Call of Duty, I swear. But people would still probably disagree with me. I mean, I see the biggest reason why people don't like this game is the slow pacedness. But honestly, just play Demolition. You don't even have to Swan Trap in Demolition. Just play Demolition, dude. And it's not slow paced anymore. Like, I can play Demolition solo and it'll be as fast paced as a Modern Warfare 2 game. And without all the bullshit, you know. Here, switch to my M60 class for, well, you'll see. I get one of the best kill feeds I've ever gotten in my Call of Duty times. Like, ever. So. And, uh, well, uh, by this time, I want to talk about my last video. Now, for those of you who came, my subscribers who came around, you know, before, I guess the first 200 views I got on that video were uh, purely my subscribers that were already subscribed to me. Uh, if you guys didn't realize, but uh, Mark of Jade retweeted or tweeted out my uh, my 400 plus kill game, and his subscribers got a good hold of it, and. Uh, you know, I'd say half of this, his subscribers said, you know, oh, wow, this is awesome. You know, some of them were like, you know, this is awesome. Like, your channel is awesome, blah, blah, blah. You know, other half of them were like, you know, this is kind of, I don't know, maybe a little cheap, but it's still, I mean, 400 kills, spawn trapping or not, is still pretty awesome, which, you know, you know I kind of agree with that. And, and then there's the other half who are like, Spawn trapping takes no skill. Fuck this kid, you know. Dislike. Oh my god. I mean, okay. This one kid said I had I saw zero gun skill in this game. Uh, yeah, buddy. Well, I mean, really. I see where he's coming from. First of all, I just like to say, uh, when someone says gun skill about a video game, it makes me crack up a little bit. 
I mean, the only person you should be able to say, oh, zero gun skill or whatever, you know, t even talking about gun skill, the only person you can say that to on YouTube is FPS Russia because, you know, that's real life. That's gun skill. This is a video game, dude. But at the same time, I know what he means by gun skill, meaning that, you know, aim, shoot, reaction time compared to, you know, their reaction time. I know what he means by gun skill. Uh, but I think it's mainly because I fast forwarded the parts where I was pushing up into the spawn because mainly when people watch a spawn trap video, they want to see spawn trap. I mean, they don't want me to see me, you know, pushing up into the spawn and dying a couple times trying to push up. You know, they just want to see, you know, the main part, you know, the main part of the show, you know. And, you know, that's, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just being a hater. I have no idea. But, okay, coming up after this gunship, I'm going to shut up and you can watch one of the best kill feeds I've ever gotten in my entire life. You know, just just watch it. It's pretty insane. Yeah, okay. I think that was like a nine-man headshot feed. <sighs> or a 10 man head headshot. F I I, that was a lot of head, man. I mean, seriously. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, when that happened, I was like, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> like, seriously, Skrillex status. Scary monsters and nice sprites. Like, oh my god. Yeah, that was one of the best kill feeds I've ever gotten in Black Ops or Call of Duty in general. And, uh,. You know, I, I really wish that Newtown 24-7 was always, or, you know, once Modern Warfare 3 comes out, they keep on Modern, uh, keep Newtown 24-7 on, like, 24-7, like it says it should be, you know, 24-7, you know, 24 hours a week, uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, you know, keep it on 24-7, come on, I mean, because Newtown is, you know, it can be frustrating at times, but seriously, hella fun. But anyways, back to that 400 kill game. And I just want to say this. I mean, I think at least one person that subscribed to me because of that video. Because I gained about uh, 40 subs from that video. And I bet you at least one of those people that subscribed to me are subscribed to me to, like, hate on my videos. And I, I can totally see this video getting one dislike because he subscribed to me just to dislike the video. I'm just calling that right now. And another thing, I bet you a million bucks, he's not even listening to the commentary at this point. So he won't even know that I said this. So, I mean, and, and if I get zero dislikes, then awesome. <laughs> you know, better for me. And, uh, uh, but yeah. And one thing, one thing also, it really like, uh, it almost makes me laugh. They're saying how spawn trappers are like some of the worst people out there. But, you know. These people all came from Mark of Jay's channel. And what does Mark of Jay do? Yeah, he was the person that made spawn trapping popular. I mean, spawn trapping was not as popular as it is today. If it wasn't for Mark of Jay posting that, you know, how to spawn trap demolition jungle, you know, back in like, I think February. And I think he did a Havana one. I'm not sure. But I, I remember that jungle one uh, that he posted up. I think that's really what made spawn trapping kind of take off and, you know, it get really popular. And uh, half his half of his subscribers obviously don't realize that that he's like a big spawn trapper himself. So them saying spawn trappers uh, are the worst players out there. So they're basically saying that Mark J is one of the worst people out there, and they're subscribed to him. Doesn't make sense. Anyways, guys, final score was two hundred ninety nine and nineteen. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys at Modern Warfare Three. See ya.